I'm Sig Soto. Welcome to my channel and welcome to this first shave in October. Today's razor is a razor that Yachi very kindly sent to me, or the head. That is also the handle, but the head is the new thing here. It's the new hollowed sentinel uh, head from Yachi with the hollowed out top cap and uh, base plate. You know, like Heavily inspired, maybe, by this, the Carbon uh, CX uh, stainless steel that has the same spiderweb base plate. So, I don't know if this is visible because I have a strong light right in my eyes, uh, but heavily inspired. I'm using the Rocket Handle stainless steel, also from Yachi, thank you, Grace. Uh, no overhang. Uh, 90, 90 millimeter of a gap and I think about uh, is it zero or a, a point zero five if I remember correct correctly um, exposure the blade that I already have in it is a special one because Moritz Moritz from my blades um, in Germany contacted me and asked if I would like to have a top of his blades, uh, the my blades, uh, sent to me. And these blades are special. They are made in Germany and they are made by recycled materials. Uh, no glue. Uh, no glue is used on the wax paper. That is not wax paper. It's actually just ordinary recycled paper. No plastic or oil or anything went into this. 100% recyclable and then um, recycled paper for this. And this is, they all come uh, with a saying on them. And this is say yes to new adventures. And that's kind of what I'm doing in October because I've decided to use whenever possible these my blades uh, from Germany uh, in every shave if possible. Comes in these uh, 10 uh, blade tucks in this very nice, uh, also made by carton, a cardboard, a recycled cardboard, talk uh, 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 container, uh, sleeve, whatever you call it. Um, the blades are made from 80% recycled metal and the furnace is driven by green energy. It's an electric furnace, so no um, fossil fuel was harmed in the making of this. And this is uh, close to a zero submission uh, production, as far as I understand. I'll leave a link below to myblades.com and you can go and see their story and watch the videos. And if you feel like it, if you feel like being a little greener, maybe, or trying something new, go and order some of their blades. They have half blades too, that I didn't get. But Morris very kindly, sent me an extra of these because she could see that I was coming up on 4,000 subscribers. So in the near future, uh, when I return from Iceland, I'm going there next week. Uh, when I return from Iceland, I will be doing a 4,000 subscriber uh, giveaway. So that was a lot of talk. A new soap is the vintage Fabergé from uh, Master Soap Creations. This is a dupe of the Brute aftershave and I tell you this is a fantastic it, It's so close. If I close my eyes, I cannot tell the difference This is a fantastic soap. Six ounces for what is it? $16? Uh, this can be purchased uh, at um, the wet shaving store. Use the Six Solo um, 71 link, uh, or oh, sorry, code and get uh, a, a discount. I think it's a 10%. So go there and try this. I also have the splash. Um, and then I'm using this because I don't have a balm. If I need it, I don't know because the balms from Master Soap Creations contain so much good stuff that I usually don't need to use a balm. But if I do, this is the closest scent to the Fabergé one I have. The brush is this gorgeous lemon lime one from Nameless with the G 
the 5C knot in it, the fan knot. Look at how beautiful this handle is. The ball is an Atlantic candy ball uh, made by an Icelandic uh, artist. So there you have them. So everything is kind of green today because of the blades and, and stuff like that. So, oh, I forgot to put water in my spray bottle. But you know what? Things happen. So I'm very, very happy that Morris contacted me. Thank you, Morris. Thank you, my blades. And gave me the opportunity to try their blades. To be honest, I haven't, I had not heard of them uh, before. So, oh man, this is a nice scent. Man. Fernando, you did it again. Man, 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 man. Hmm. Look at this. Mm. So the first use of the my blade, triple coat, triple plati platinum coated. Definitely a sharp. A sharp blade. You feel that instantly. Let me just check that this is all aligned. It is. You know, this is the sentinel open comb, uh, not open comb, sorry, the hollowed. So there is a lot of music in this. It's very, it's the feedback is enormous, you know. You know, if you're like me, you like the feedback because that tells you If you're on the angle and if the blade is actually cutting. The louder the feedback, the more I enjoy it. I usually call it the symphony of the blade or the razor. That's nice. Definitely sharp. I won't pass judgment today uh, on or compare the blade to other blades. I need a couple of more shaves, but at the first couple of strokes, I would say it feels like the Persona Reds, Chrome and Platinum Plated. That's the first impression I get. I don't know anything about longevity and I don't know. All I know is that a thing that I love, another thing that I love is that it's double wrapped. I love that. And there are no glue marks. Um, and it's made from recycled paper, both the inner and the outer wrapper for this. I hate glue marks, you know. I know 
they are put there to keep the blades steady by most manufacturers to protect the edge but it's a menace to get off and I always clean up my razors after each shave and those glue marks are a pain in the behind to be honest Second pass, man, this is smooth. So, this is so nice. Man, I like that. You know, sometimes the shave feels so smooth that you are actually wondering if you have a blade in it. But this head and this blade, they are made for each other. That's how it feels because uh, I was actually contemplating if I, ex if I picked up the correct razor just a second ago. So you can hear it cutting, but this is so smooth. I doubt I will, will have any irritation whatsoever I doubt that not much left as you might be able to hear so a very little blade feel. With the Sentinel bun box, I would say this is one of the smoothest of the Sentinel heads I've tried so far. I have to resist the urge to check if there is a blade in it because it's super efficient. It has to be. I started off with three days of growth and after the first pass, see, there's nothing here. That's really, really, really weird. Anything there? Let's just... Yeah, that's hardly anything. So, man, that's easy. That's so, so, so easy. So, from the get-go, this blade feels very nice indeed. The razor head, man. And as always with Fernando soaps, super slick. A lot of good stuff in the soap. So already before applying anything, any post products, my skin is feeling, you know, it's, it's really, really, really nice feeling. So, 18 c towel, as always. This will be going with me to Iceland next week. So, man. Okay, the aftershave, give it a shake. The vintage Fabergé. Oh, are you ready? Lovely, 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 lovely. Oh, man. Which has then rose water based? Ah, yeah. Perfect, the mondo. Oh, there's a little soap still in my beard. Can have that. Sorry about that. Okay, are you ready for the sound test? Perfect Like, subscribe, hit the bell and share. I will put links to everything below. Thank you, Moritz, for sending me the blades. Yachi, Grace, for sending me the razor. And to you for watching this. Like, subscribe, hit the bell and share. And you know why we do this? 
We do this because we are not obsessed. We are dedicated. Six solo, out.